Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be really different because I'm not going to be doing anything like artsy or crafts. I'm going to do a bullet journal flip through and I've only been doing this bullet journal for about four months, so August to December. And I'm just going to flip through it and show you guys what I've been doing and how I did it, I guess. So I've been using this Clever Fox bullet journal and it has an elastic loop and a elastic band and this back pocket for stuff and I took all mine out because I'm transferring it into my 2019 bullet journal and then my key is pretty simple and a lot of stuff in this bullet journal is inspired by Amanda Rachel Lee so I'll link her channel below and this is my yearly spreads in my calendar, and I did not like my yearly spreads. And I also wrote something twice in the quote. This is my like monthly planning. In the places I went, I wrote nothing because I didn't go anywhere this four months. So, and then these are the movies I wanted to watch. And this is my first monthly spread. And it's my August one, and I did this fruit thing, and Amanda also did this one too, like a few years ago, I think. And this is my mood tracker and my habit tracker, and as you can see, I didn't do very good on three of my habits, so I didn't mark anything in them. And this goals before summer, I really like that page because it looked really cool. And this is my spending tracker and my goal. My brain dump this monthly was really messy, and I tried to keep it neater like, the next month. And here are all my weeklies. They're basically the same, and I have reminders and sleep. And I really like this month's, which is the September one, and it's you can never have too much stationery. And yeah, it's basically a stationery theme. And Amanda also did this one, so. Here's my calendar and my habit and mood tracker, which I really liked. And this is my brain dump, and I really love this brain dump. And then all my weeklies are basically the same, except I basically got rid of the sleep tracker, and I use this, which I put all the days of the week and then all my courses, so I could check off all the boxes and make sure I had no homework due. My goals and to do is on the top. And this is my October, and it's basically a pumpkin themed one. Here's my calendar, and then my habit tracker and new tracker. Oh, yeah, and I also started the pros and cons. And also put spending tracker on the bottom of my habit tracker because I always had extra space. And I didn't think I needed a whole page for my spending tracker. And this brain dump is really empty, so. And then all my weeklies are basically the same. I have goals and to do. And I also changed up my boxes a little bit. So this theme is, the November theme is like basically constellations and stars. And Amanda also did this one. That's my calendar and my habit and mood tracker all are always next to each other. And my brain dump is really empty this time also. And then all my weeklies are the same. And then my um, December track December spread is the ornaments and Amanda did this one so. And then this is my calendar. And I barely filled out any of the mood tracker. And I'm filming this on the 26th. So I haven't been keeping up with it. And then the habit tracker. Yeah. I basically stopped because I've been working a lot on my 2020 bullet journal. 
And then my brain dump is a bunch of like practicing. Then all my weeklies are basically the same. And this I did, so the top is, yeah, the top is my uh, task and the bottom is my schedule. And that's it for this year, so the rest I'm just going to keep empty. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Bye.